Amazing how quickly time passes. It's been ten years since you came here with Kataro. He was just a baby then. This entire decade, I have never forgotten the debt of gratitude I owe both you and the princess. Truly, I owe you everything. We have a few more years before Kataro emerges. You two should stay here until then. It makes more sense. I'm sorry, Crow, but we've been over this already. Listen to me, Jiro. I'm worried about you, both of you. Here, the princess and I can help you, but out there... Well, out there's a different story. It's the destiny of my bloodline. If I wait until Kataro emerges, it will be too late. I want him to know the outside world before it's out of reach for him. His only thought shouldn't be that of unnatural things in the darkness of night. Wait up, Grand Duke Bell! Princess, but I had no idea you could knit. Was it a hard thing for you to do? This is now my most prized possession. I'll just wipe it off. See? Well, Crow, it looks like Ataro is up to no good again. Oh, give me a break. <sighs> it must be nice to be young and having fun. I have next to zero for my vacation time. My salary hardly makes it worth my while in the first place. That whole business with the phone call this morning was a bunch of crap. Calling a girl before dawn, ordering her out of bed. Just get up, go down to the beach and investigate. What the hell is that? <gasps> is that it? Uh... What's that? That's a... person? Uh, uh... Uh... Go grab your phone. We gotta call an ambulance. Right. Hey, dude, you okay? Uh... Uh... Can you stand? like that <laughs> just masterful and the makeup wow <laughs> and let's see here looks like you live to see another scene kid now let's get you on to the next set up and at them they've got crew and extras ready and waiting you're a vampire right i'm aware that you don't know me but just trust me on this i came here to help you any place out of the sun. Leave it to me. <laughs> you kids and your method acting! <laughs> what just happened? It, I have You're no idea.
Have we gotten any word from Johan? Not yet. Then our hands are tied. Just stick to the plan for now. The rest is in your hands, Master Strategist. It's what I do best, sis. to thank you for your assistance. Without you, we would have... Oh, that's the biggest load of crap! I mean... You have a name? It's Jiro Machizuki. Jiro's a pretty common name. Should be an easy one to remember. Then please make sure that you do. I already have. So the little one there next to you, that's Kataro, right? As I said, our situation happens to be grave and is of no fault of our own. To all appearances, we have simply been caught up in the chaos created by your esteemed colleagues. We brothers are victims here, nothing more. Don't you think I know that? For ruining your voyage as a representative of the company, I would like to offer our apologies. We are very, very, very sorry. That's the biggest load of crap. And you are... Mimiko Katsuragi! Oh yes, Mimiko. What a very unusual name. It's rather funny sounding when you hear it. Just do me a favor and don't forget it. You don't want to take me off. Oh, don't worry. I remember it already. <sighs> Great, we agree. Now, since I know that you and the kid are traveling to the special zone, the least I can do is offer you guidance. I'll show you the way myself. How's that sound? Is it at that point that you'll hand my companion and I over to the suppression team? <sighs> Mr. Machizuki. Yes? Let me take a moment to make myself clear. Okay, I'm listening. While I'm part of the same company as those you met earlier, I'm a compromiser. I act as more of a mediator than anything. In our line of work, the subject always given top priority is the continuing peaceful coexistence between black bloods like you and red bloods like us. You call yourselves red bloods? Oh, right. You probably don't know any of this, huh? In order to be clear when we talk of our two races, we call your kind black bloods and we call our kind red bloods. It shows equality between two races of sentient beings. That we're equal as living creatures. Hmm. That's just two minutes and seven seconds. Geoffrey, go ahead. It's nothing personal, pal. How long are we gonna keep doing this? Who knows, it's just one of those things we have to do in order to survive. And remember, if you slack off, I'm telling Sis. Here, this is next. Yeah, don't worry, I'm on it. Good boy. Please, no! So we've got red bloods and black bloods. Are we sure there's nothing else? Good morning, Kataro. <laughs> oh, hey, brother. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I feel kind of salty. It's gross. Looks like you didn't fall apart, though. I remember now. I was on the ship, and then I... You must have jumped in and saved me. I sure did. Thank you, brother. I always knew I could count on you. Hmm. It figures. He's a lot nicer to him than he is to me. So, brother, uh, who's that, that girl? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mimiko Katsuragi. It's nice to meet you. Mimiko? That name's kind of weird. Yeah, it's different. I get that a lot. Now, I know you feel salty from the water, but you can at least get the taste out of your mouth with a few bites from this. I can have this? Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you so much. She's really nice, brother. So, Mimi, what are you doing here with us anyway? Actually... She's our guide. 
It's her job to escort us to the special zone. Hmm. We place ourselves in your care. She's really our guide? <laughs> it won't be a long trip, but we'll have lots of fun. Noticing how different you two are for being brothers. We may look and act different, but we're brothers for sure. And outside of that, we've got no one. We're the only ones in our bloodline. You shouldn't speak too much of our family, Kataro. What my younger brother here is saying is true. We are brothers, but while he can handle the sun and flowing water, this obviously doesn't happen to be the case with me. And that's all there is to it. I hope that's satisfactory for you. Mm, sorry I noticed. of me what there's a barrier surrounding the zone wait what are you talking about they don't have anything like that here it is a barrier that cannot be felt by humans most vampires would find that they have no reaction to it either the barrier only serves one purpose and that is to keep specific bloodlines from entering without an invitation <sighs> yes ten years ago during the Kulon shock, this method was developed to establish defensive lines and enclosed camps. Wait a second, but that means... It's not what you think. Neither my brother nor I are Kulon children. Fine then, what are you? You may not see it, but I am in fact descended from a noble line of vampires, and I always adhere strictly to their traditions. <laughs> Kataro, come over here, please. What? Come over here. Just do it. So what is it? Mimiko's job as our guide has come to an end. Aww. That was the arrangement from the start. Now you know that. Mm. Mimiko, I'd like to thank you for your hospitality. This young lady has been nothing but good to us. If you lay a hand on her, I won't just stand by and watch. I think you're aware I'm not interested in the girl. Our objective is you. Sorry for the trouble we put you through last night. <laughs> Target has made contact. Roger that. My name is Kelly Wong. And I need your help to get into the special zone. You see, unfortunately, my knowledge of which bloodline I belong to is minimal at best. Shortly after I was transformed, my parents died in the Kulon shock, taking with them any information about my past. One of the so-called broken bloodlines. So I take it you were born in Hong Kong? Basically. And I overheard your conversation. If you're parting ways here with the company, it works out for all of us. I was hoping you would join forces with us. Uh, join forces with you? You're kidding me! <laughs> Well, aren't you clinging? The man just said he was leaving you here and you can't let go. But I'm a compromiser. I can't just abandon a job before it's been completed. <laughs> then you're invited to come along too. Well, I don't know. Hey, brother, you're pretty popular, you know that? Trust me, Kataro, that's not always a good thing. But at the very least, you can write to Crow and brag about it. Now, if I did that, he'd never let me hear the end of it. You've been listening, so I assume you know. I'm, to my regret, suspected of being one of the Kulon children, you see. And to invite one of that bloodline into your group... It doesn't matter what bloodline you belong to. 
We'll accept you, even if you are a Kulan child. Let me make myself clear. What I did last night was not meant to benefit you. I understand. You reacted logically based on your knowledge of the situation. What we need from you is your power, and in exchange we can provide you with something that you need but don't have. Just what exactly would that be? Friendship, of course. Hmm. A whole bunch of new friends. What do you think? Should we join up with the lady and her group of people? There's a young girl traveling in our group that's about the same age as you are. I'm sure the two of you will be good friends. Uh, but I... It's settled. Now then, let's get out of here. The first thing we'll do is meet up with the others. Whoa, and... wait a minute. I wasn't sure at first, but I think this guy's the kin killer. Is that true? Fantastic! I heard every story there was about you when I was a mercenary. I couldn't imagine a better ally. This is great! Get down! Whoa! Are you okay? thought they'd go so far as to attack us in broad daylight. It looks like the company is feeling rather bold. Wait! I didn't do this! Don't worry, I know. I may not look it, but I'm a hundred years old. I've learned a lot along the way. A hundred years old? That makes you an old blood, right? To be honest, I knew they'd try to make this kind of move. They really had no choice but to set up an ambush somewhere along the way. I figured it would be easier to negotiate with you around rather than not. Kataro. What is it? Listen carefully. Because I had to save you in the ocean, I've drained all of my energy. So I'm too weak to break down their lines and carry you. I'm going to play decoy and try to draw them away from you. Which means that you'll have to get past them on your own. Do you think you can do that? Um, I don't know. I guess I could try. <laughs> I'll go with him. But Mimiko... I appreciate the offer. But I'd prefer not to rely on your sympathy. That wasn't exactly why I offered. At any rate, we'll be on our way here very shortly. You can explain the situation to the suppression team when they arrive. You mean we're gonna have to say goodbye to Mimi anyway? Yes, now let it go. You have to get out of here. If you don't escape uh, soon, they'll catch ow. you. Uh, right, I'm going. Kataro. What is it now, brother? You take care of yourself out there. <laughs> you got it. See you later. the right move. I don't know. Is the Japanese sunlight really this powerful? 